In this video, we have a vector field and we're being asked if it is a conservative vector field and if it is, we have to find its potential function. So first we have to determine if this vector field is conservative. So what you do is you call this big M and you call this big N. Then you compute the following partial derivative. So you compute del M del, and here's how I memorize it. This is kind of like the x component or the first component. So it's del y, it's the other variable. Easy way to think about it. So this will just be three. Then you look at this one and you do del n, del, this is like the y component or the second one. So you do del n, del x, the first, it's always opposite. So for this one, you do del m del y. For this one, you do del n del x. So it's backwards. The derivative of 3x is 3. Again, this is a partial derivative. So the derivative here is 3. The derivative here is 0. The derivative here is 3. The derivative here is 0 with respect to x. These are the same. So it is a conservative vector field. So yes, conservative. So again, recap. To check it's conservative, you call this m, you call this n, compute del m del y, see what you get, compute del n del x, see what you get, if they're the same, it's conservative. To find the potential function, what you do is basically you take this and you integrate it with respect to x. So we're going to integrate this with respect to x, and when we do that, we get 3xy, because 3y is a constant. Integrate this one, we get x cubed over 3. And recall that when you integrate with respect to x, you add an unknown function of the other variable. So we're going to add a function of y. Okay. And this must be equal to this. And we're going to integrate this now with respect to y. So we would get 3xy. Integrate with respect to y, we get y squared over 2. We integrate it with respect to y, so we had an unknown function of x. So recap, after you know it's conservative, you know that this is going to be the gradient of some differentiable function. That means that this is del f del x, and this is del f del y, where f is some function. The goal is to find that function. So all you do is you integrate this with respect to x, you integrate this with respect to y. So this is the answer, this is f. But so is this, this is also f, because if you integrate this with respect to x, you just get back f. If you integrate this with, res well, with, res with respect to y, you just get back f. So these are equal, so how do you write the answer down? Like this. So they're both the same, so they both have 3xy, so you only, ha you only write it once. This one has this. Oh, and we also have this. And don't forget to add some arbitrary constant. I'll add like a plus k. Typically people use k or c uh, because when you differentiate the k, it goes away. Um, how did I do that? Basically, you read it left to right. Write it down, write it down. You already wrote it down, write it down. So write it down once and only once. So you write it down, write it down. Don't worry about it. And then, oh, you already wrote it down, so don't write it down again. Oh, write it down. Why does that work? Because this is f, and this is f. So they're both the same. So how can that be? Because they look different. Well, g of y is actually equal to this. And h of x is actually equal to this. So they must be the same. So do I think about that every time? No, no, no. You just write it down, write it down, and then we already wrote it down, so don't write it down again. Write it down. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.